So we have the option to try and get a plan and work to it. And uh, I would really remember reading the old leader's statement a few weeks ago after we now run the leads the Labour Group on the LTA, who said that thanks to Oldham's vision of having a strategy and a plan, they were able to bid to the government for funding, and he welcomed the funding that they received. Thanks, Bill. I'm sure Stuart and Mark Smith are beavering away on a, on a, a strategy. Would you like to say anything, Mark? Very briefly. Uh, just, just very briefly, just uh, obviously it's something that obviously we could uh, spend lots of time talking about. But I think, I think for me, um, we've got a resolution here uh, which uh, was obviously amended by our cabinet member. Certainly, from an officer point of view, we'd be happy to do work on the lines as uh, suggested in the motion. Any, any more, any more questions? No. John. Thank you. 
arms brought to reduce uh, climate change by reducing the food procurement of supply chains and also to ensure that we are we work to develop the eradicate disease climate ready program. Chair, I believe it's quite a, a comprehensive um, strategy which is uh, text printing on page 71, which is called COOL. Okay. Uh, Chair, if I can answer the questions, I'm sure Councillor Moody would be happy to provide. No Thanks, Kevin. Um, has anyone got any questions for either Kevin or Ben? It is, it is quite a comprehensive report. Anything from anyone? Dave? I'm, I'm glad you're asking the question because Ben has just made that long walk. I'm obviously delighted to spend the, the afternoon with Ben. David brings music to my ears, thank you. Betty, you've made the long walk. Anita?
And that's, that's it at the moment. If, unless you'd like to add anything, Anita, or John. Through you, Chair, as, as part of the Council's decision to keep the service in house, uh, certainly uh, coming to three years ago, yeah. uh, the, uh, as Councillor Mitchell outlined, we, we did actually approve um, a significant, absolutely essential program of investment in plant and equipment. On page 107, there's uh, some line there which actually breaks that down. Uh, my understanding is, is that we, we are very simply, we have pressed ahead with that full programme. It has all been absolutely essential to um, uh, to actually deliver the successful modernisation of the in-house service. I hope that's the question. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Thank you. Everyone OK with that? We know it's all working well. Twelve Director of Plan Performance and Management Report, pages one hundred and nine <coughs> to one hundred and fourteen. Thanks, Kevin. Again, Chair, sure, regular report brought to this uh, this committee. Um, hopefully, members have got uh, the uh, the red, amber, green rated paper in front of them. Uh, Please say, Chair, sure, that uh, all green except for except for two. Um, 
first under the explanations why the comments the first of the ambers is the uh, no one people killed or seriously injured in more traffic accidents. Uh, I think as we say Chair in the in the comments, uh, unfortunately the early months of twenty fourteen we have seen more than we would have hoped for, more than we would have uh, expected to see in terms of uh, accidents. Uh, but Chair we are again uh, confident that we'll uh, come in at the end of the year to target by taking some further actions to try and reduce uh, those incidents. And the second one Chair is the percentage of working age people clearing out of work benefits under 16. Uh, Chair just to point out this goes back to February 14 uh, because that's when the latest information was available. Uh, Chair again I do expect this to uh, on the latest information that I've got by doing a calculation we're not before. Uh, government calculation, I do expect that to go back into the TV next time we post this committee. Happy to take any questions on any other indicators, Chair. Just, just, just one question on the care side. Uh, we, we have figures in the uh, children, elderly, or elderly age people, who seem to come into their problems at the moment. Because we are an aging population, is it something we need to look at at some stage to get a longer time span for the crossing? Yes, through, through you, Chair, the, um, we know that in overall talk terms it is just pedestrian care size of all ages. As far as my own chest is, as well, it's not just a rural issue, certainly the whole Merseyside uh, figures are off at the moment. Um, as Kevin's outlined, we've got a number of campaigns and things that we're doing, and then in terms of some of the more recent accidents that have taken place over the last few years in particular, uh, Dave Reese and the team are working closely with Merseyside Police to drill down into the very detailed circumstances behind all of those care signs that are taking place. Thanks, Kat. Is that okay, Dave? Can I just have noted, Dave, I'm glad Mark mentioned Dave Reese there. Dave Reese does an incredible amount of work on that Mr. Road, safety manager. And he really does. He, in so much work yeah, to get these things reduced, and I think it is worth that. Along with, with Mark and that department, they do exceptional work, they really do. Thanks, Mark. And that, that that's to be noted, gentlemen, ladies. To be noted, do we get agreement? Yes, yeah. 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 Um, item 13, decision to take on the delegated powers, pages 115 to 120, and I'll hand it back over to Kevin. Thanks. Thank you, Chair. Very briefly, uh, to report to this committee, uh, two tenders that I've accepted under my delegated powers uh, for site clearance and demolition. Uh, the works have been done, Chair, as uh, are in course retrospectively to this committee, but happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Item 15, 